Hello and welcome to a new video about measurement. This time we are talking about level measurement again and a very easy level measurement, the rotor me level measurement. It's only suitable for bulk goods, uh, shit good. Uh, how is this working? Well, bulk goods are usually somewhere in a silo or something like this, like that. Yeah, And I will apply on the side of the silo, I will apply here a motor which will drive inside here some rotor okay how the form of the rotor is does not really must I will explain later this is jump you can imagine it's just some plate which is rotating inside there okay and I'll do this on different levels This is the rotor. This one will spin freely and this one is already covered by the bulk good. Yeah? So this will stop, this will stall simply. Yeah? This one is stalled. Stalled because of good yeah? bulk good, bulk material. And this I can detect. I can detect if this is stalled or not. And then I know if this is stalled and this not, then the level must be somewhere in between. That's it. This is how this is working. Yeah? And well, how the physical representation, if this is really on the side or if it's coming from the top or something like that, does not really matter as long as you have different levels. Yeah? You could use this uh, inside the silo and switch, so it's level switching more. It's not really level measurement, but it's switching on a certain level, which is determined by the position of this of these rotors. Yeah. The upside, of course, is it's easy, uh, easy, understandable, no issue at all there. Uh, easy and there is no you know it doesn't really matter what type of bulk good this is uh, it can be grain it can be cement it can be sand it can be different bulk good it will always work the same way uh, uh, so so uh, there is no no adjustment When there were synchro motors used, yeah, then the form of these rotors need to be adapted a little bit to the to the bulk good, yeah, because the synchro motors had a certain torque and so on, and then you had to adapt a little bit the the rotors. Now we are using stepper motors, yeah, and so the stepper motors can adapt themselves, and the, the spinners, the rotors are still the same for every type of bulk good. Negative, yeah. of course there's wear. So there is wear. Maintenance. I, take to the, I have to take care about this. Yeah. Because, you know, there are rotating parts, there is wear. Period. And not suitable for a low density materials and very high density. So if the material is getting too heavy or too lightweight, this would if it's too light, it's easier. Yeah? If it's just some foam, <laughs> this will spin and spin and will not recognize. But otherwise, it's quite often used. Yeah? It's quite often used on various of application, different 
forms, uh, different industries, yeah. Ro rotor level measurement. Another way, how to determine the level of, of a good, uh, usually bulk good, is, is uh, by using a plummet. This will be done in the next video. Okay, Next video, level measurement by plummet. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.